Italian lineup. But Chelsea High Red Devils. Malay captain, Malaysia Salero. Number one, Monica Sestens Cruz. Number four, Jolene Zingas. Number 12, Kiera Shedders Number 14, Alessandra Campos. And the Red Devils are coached by Coach Benjamin Jenny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the starting line of the Yorks, Southern Highlanders. Number two, Diana Grant Johnson. Somerville Highlander girls basketball on Somerville Ed TV. I'm Todd Harmon and tonight the Highlanders open out their greater Boston League schedule against the Red Devils of Chelsea. Highlanders coming in off of a 44-22 loss to the Whittier Wildcats to open out their regular season. They come in 0-1. The Wild, I mean I should say the Red Devils come in beginning their season tonight. They will be opening against the Highlanders as this is their first game of the season. The Red Devils won in 19 last year. They fell to the Highlanders to identical 49 to 26 scores last year. Both times the teams met here at Broon Fieldhouse as well as over at Chelsea High School. The Red Devils were the two victories for the Highlanders last year. As the Highlanders look to even up their record at one and one, tipping off is DJ Johnson as she tips it to Ava Martin. Ava right in, takes the shot off the back iron. Her second shot attempt as she got the rebound was blocked, but Fatima Aguilar able to pull that one out and the Highlanders will set their offense as they have the first possession. It's Mia Pacheco along with Giuliani Fairman Rodriguez, number five there. A push off called against Chelsea. That's going to go against Monica Cespedes Cruz. That is her first. Chelsea's first as well. Rule change coming into this season. Four quarters of action, of course, but now the quarters, or I should say the fouls break down per quarter. Five fouls get you into the bonus per quarter instead of seven fouls getting you into the bonus per half. And then every single free throw after that, every foul after that is a two-shot foul. Once you're into the bonus as Pacheco drives in the pass into DJ Johnson. DJ goes up and she is fouled. As that's going to go against number four, Giuliani Zayas. Zayas picks up her first. That's the second team foul on the Red Devils. DJ at the line, shooting two. First shot by DJ is good. DJ struggled from the line against Whittier, but comes out firing here, making her first. Highlanders is a whole struggle from the line as that one rims out. But Fairman Rodriguez gets the rebound for the Highlanders. And they will set the offense leading one to nothing here. Chico feeds it around. Highlander offense struggled against Whittier, hitting their open shots. And that kind of removed their confidence as Chelsea here on the fast break. The runner put up by Cespedes Cruz is no good. Rebound comes out to the Highlanders. And Fairman 
Rodriguez called for the travel there. The Highlanders just struggled against Whittier earlier, early opening, hitting open looks. Defensively, they were very strong against the Wildcats as the three-pointer put up by Solero hits nothing but the bottom of the net. And the, and the Red Devils lead three to one. As Malise Solero gets the Red Devils on the board. Highlanders working their offense against the zone of Chelsea. Runner there, nice job by Fatima Aguilar. She went to the hoop. That's something the Highlanders did not do against Whittier. They did not drive very effectively. Got good open looks at outside shots, but weren't able to put them home as that is going to get past Solero from Cespedes Cruz. Over and back is the call. Backcourt violation. Turnover goes to the Highlanders. Tied up three to three. Aguilar gets it in. Pacheco, a defensive standout against the Wildcats, takes the screen from DJ, pulls it back out. Skip pass over here to the near wing, inside to Martin. Martin from the foul line gets it down to Johnson. Great look there by Ava Martin as she got it down on the left block to DJ, and DJ on the up fake gets fouled. Really nice breakdown of the zone there. You get it to the foul line, and from the foul line, Ava Martin was able to get it down to DJ. Really nice way to break up the zone. Is DJ still struggling from the line. One for three from the line right now today. Second one. That one's pure. Two points for DJ tonight so far. Four to three is the Highlander lead. Islanders in the man-to-man. -man. And Pacheco with that strong defense holds firm as Malazi Salero, or Malazi Salero, I should say, came around that corner, gets called for the travel. On the turnover, the Highlanders have it now as Aguilar brings it across. Inside foul line once again to Ava Martin. She'll kick it back out to Pacheco. Pacheco dribble penetration. Puts up the left-handed runner, it rims out, but there's Ava Martin with great position down on the right block for the putback. Highlanders lead six to three, five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Aguilar defending out front. Ball was blocked as it went up. Shot put up from the foul line, rims out. Isaias missed that one. DJ Johnson quickly back the other direction, finds Martin in the paint. Martin's shot is up and she is fouled. Good quick transition there by the Highlanders as DJ pushed the pace. Ava Martin was able to match that pace, position herself down in the low block and put that shot up getting fouled. She'll be at the line shooting two. That's the second on Zayas, fourth on the Red Devils. Highlanders leading six to three. Martin looking to put them up by more. First free throw by Martin, no good. Martin also struggled from the free throw line against the Wildcats. Second shot by Martin is good. Four point lead for the Highlanders. Cespedes Cruz working against Aguilar. Good defense there by Fatima Aguilar. And Cespedes Cruz gets whistled for the travel. Another turnover to the Highlanders. So they look to build upon this lead. Get it once again, foul line, nice look down low, looking for DJ, good hands by DJ Johnson as she was able to concentrate, collect that ball and go up with it. Nine to three is the Highlander lead. Just textbook breaking down the zone, passing it to the foul line. Timeout being taken by Red Devil head coach Ben Jett. As 
Highlander head coach Ricardo Bonome has really got them primed on how to break down that 2-3 zone that the Red Devils are showing to them. As they bring the ball up floor, they will get it to Ava Martin at the foul line. Ava really good with the ball, determining whether to take it to the low block. DJ flashing in there. They've had success with that and also kicking it out. Don't sleep on Mia Pacheco taking a three-pointer from the wing on a kick out as they look to defeat that zone, continue to defeat the zone, as the Highlanders lead nine to three right now. Highlanders, of course, defeated the Red Devils twice last year. Those were the only two victories for the Highlanders on the season. It's talking to the Highlander coaching staff at a jamboree this past weekend when the Highlanders were playing Danvers as they were defeated by the Falcons in that jamboree, but Looked very good against the Falcons, had a lead against the Falcons through the first portion of that game. And it was more a matter of confidence for the Highlanders. They lost their confidence against the Wildcats, missing those open looks, and then just didn't have that offensive confidence throughout the game. But defensively, they were very, very strong for most of that game. It's great to see that defensive effort. You see right now the defensive effort as well for the Highlanders. Assessment is Cruz from the corner. No good. Rebound put up by Solero is no good as well as Solero. Smaller player getting in there for the board. Pass forward looking for DJ. Gets knocked away. Now Martin will get it back from Pacheco. Nice move there by Ava Martin. Beautiful touch on that turnaround. As she puts it home, 11-3 is the Highlander lead. Islanders out to an eight-point lead here early against the Red Devils. And that's going to go against DJ. And she gets called for the bump against Cespedes Cruz. First foul against DJ. First team foul against the Highlanders. As for me, as Fairman Rodriguez heads off, Anais Lopez checks in, and right there you see those hands of Mia Pacheco. She reaches right in, ties that ball up, alternating possession. It will stay with the Red Devils. Highlanders will now get the arrow. No, the Highlanders will get it. Sorry about that. I was going to say the near official had called it going to the Red Devils, and that is the case. Or actually, no, it, yes, it will be the Red Devils. Mia just standing there, figures, you know, I'll take it. If you're going to hand it to me, I'll take it. And that will be out of bounds off of Cespedes, or off of Solero. Sorry about that. Turnover goes back to the Highlanders. Aguilar running the point, gets it over to Pacheco. Gives it to Lopez. Anais, quick first step, will kick it back to Aguilar. Aguilar's three-pointer, no good. Wide open run there for Pacheco. Couldn't quite finish, but there's DJ Johnson to put it home. I like seeing the way the Highlanders are attacking the rim tonight. Leading by 10 now, 13 to three, 240 remaining in the first quarter. That's going to be a travel. And Cespedes Cruz moved the pivot foot. Sophia Good checking into the game for the Highlanders, number 10. As Pacheco heads to the sidelines. Now DJ with it on the wing. Kicks it back out to Aguilar. Aguilar gets double teamed, gives it over to Lopez. Lopez over to DJ. DJ baseline drive now. She'll go up. No good. Rebound pulled away but stolen away for, by Lopez for a moment, but she had control of it on the front side and then took control on the back side. Backcourt violation is the call, 2.09 remaining in the first quarter. Highlanders leading by 10, 13 to three. Aguilar playing tight there against Cespedes Cruz. Highlanders staying in that man-to-man. -man. Cespedes Cruz. Called again for the travel. She 
hit that hard faking step down the baseline, move that pivot foot once again. So the Highlanders with a 10 point lead. Looking to add to that, DJ on the wing. Great look there to Ava, and Martin goes up with it. 4-2, beautiful touch there by Ava Martin around the rim once again. Very fast, high velocity pass down to Martin. Good job by Martin to handle that pass from DJ. As the three pointer is put up, that is no good from Campos. And that is out of bounds, Highlanders balls. They lead by 12, a minute 20 remaining in the first quarter. Lopez avoids the travel there, gets it to the floor. A motion out at the top of the key. DJ gives it off to Martin. I'm going to call that a pass. I don't think it was. DJ thought she was fouled, but we're going to call that an assist for DJ and a great finish for Ava Martin. 14-point lead for the Highlanders under a minute remaining in the quarter. Cespita Cruz trying to break it down there, gives it off. Campos with it. Fires it over, Solero gets it stolen away by DJ. DJ heading down, has speed. He's going to get called for the carry. Came off of her leg there, and I think they called the carry on her trying to recover there. She broke towards the basket. 35 seconds remaining. Chelsea only one bucket so far in the first quarter. There's a nice give and go between Cespedes Cruz and Campos, and Cespedes Cruz finishes nicely. She kisses it off the glass, 17-5, the Highlander lead. Highlanders holding for the last shot, 12 seconds left. Aguilar turns that one over. Good defense there by Solero as she was able to get that, get that ball away from Fatima Aguilar. Eight seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Highlanders leading by 12. Chelsea looking to cut this lead possibly down to single digits. Solero gets it back to Cespedes Cruz. She'll fire it up from three, no good. Sophia Good pulls it down and that will do it for the first quarter of play as the Highlanders lead here at Brune Fieldhouse over the Red Devils by the score of 17 to five. Highlanders looking nice out there so far, very aggressive defensively as they've been able to stay in that man-to-man -man coverage and cause multiple turnovers as Fatima Aguilar has been very strong defending Cespedes Cruz. Mia Pacheco as well causing multiple turnovers, keeping her stellar defensive performance of the season here at the beginning of the year. On the offensive end, the Highlanders much more aggressive going towards the basket as they have done a great job breaking down the zone. So they've been able to get the ball to Ava Martin at the foul line. She's been able to find DJ Johnson down around the bucket, down on the block. DJ second leading scorer in the game with six points. Leading scorer in the game is Ava Martin. Ava's done a tremendous job dishing the ball from the foul line to break down the zone, but also being positioned around the basket. She's shown, shown a tremendous amount of touch around the basket as well. Really nice job in the first quarter for the Highlanders as they lead here by 12 going to the second quarter. Of course, Girls <clears throat> basketball action, not the only action we have for you here on Somerville Ed TV. We will have boys basketball action as well as hockey action. Remember the hockey team got into the playoffs, got a playoff win last year as Anais Lopez's runner is no good. Outlet pass stolen away by Anais and she is fouled by Solero. That will be the first foul on Solero. First foul on the Red Devils here in the second quarter. Again, rule change. Five fouls per quarter will get you into the bonus. As that one's stolen away by Campos, feeds it down. Campos Rodriguez, I should say, Cespedes Cruz, 
with the shot, no good, and Pacheco comes away with it, looking down floor, good, heads up basketball there, as Pacheco finds Martin at the other end. You see that touch that Ava Martin has around the bucket on that fast break basket, and the Highlanders lead by 14. Three-pointer put up by Cespedes Cruz. That's going to rim out. Rebound bounces out to Pacheco. She will lead the break once again. This time she'll slow it down. Pacheco, a very good feel out there for when to run with it, when not to, as Lopez tries the three. Didn't follow her shot. Walked away, thought she had it. It was online, but a little short. Chelsea comes away with a rebound. Cespedes Cruz gets it out to Campos or I'm sorry, Chavez Trejo. And Chavez Trejo puts that one home. Nice drive there by Chavez Trejo. Chelsea still in that 2-3 zone. Highlanders have been successful breaking it down with the pass to the foul line. Giuliani Fairman Rodriguez with a shot, no good. Martin chases down the rebound. She'll take the baseline. Gives it out to Pacheco. Pacheco. And a three seconds is going to be the call. Martin did not clear the lane after she passed that ball away. And she gets called for the three seconds. Substitutions for the Highlanders is Lila Mack Coleman comes in, number 33, as well as number three, Aliyah Ramadan. And that ball gets down inside. Good defense there by Ramadan, and she's able to steal that one away from the cutting Cespedes Cruz. So Ramadan makes her presence felt immediately upon getting on the floor. Chairman Rodriguez over to Pacheco. Pacheco, entry pass. Nice look down to Ava Martin. Beautiful pass by Lila Mack Coleman as she found Ava Martin on that left block. Really nice foul line passing you're seeing from the Highlanders tonight to break that zone down. As Ramadan got a hand on that one, almost stole it away. Cespedes Cruz gives it off. Solero with the jumper, and that is pure. Second bucket for Solero, 21-9, the Highlander lead. Ramadan with it. Poked there, but fouled by Salero. As she picks up her second foul, second Chelsea team foul here in the second quarter. Five fouls gets the team into the bonus per quarter. Once in the bonus, each foul shot or each foul is two shots. As Coleman turns, looks down to Martin. Martin gets it and is able to finish. Beautiful hands, beautiful finish by Ava Martin. Defense, 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 defense. As Cespedes Cruz drives in, her runner is up, it's no good. Rebound pulled down by Lila Mack Coleman. Gets it out, Martin will run the floor. Martin, jump stop, gives it down to Mack Coleman. Mack Coleman Turns, fires, no good, but she's fouled as she gets her own rebound and tries to follow. Matt Coleman, another player who has nice touch around the bucket for the Highlanders. As Kiara Chavez Trejo gets that one, that's her first third team foul on the Red Devils. Matt Coleman. First free throw is good. Second free throw by Lila, rolls around, no good. Martin gets the board, fires it up, no good. Follows her own shot, no good. Continues to fight for the rebound, but this one's pulled away, a foul's going to be called. As Matt Coleman's going to get called for that foul, as Campos was pulling away with that rebound. That's Lila's first, team's first here in the second quarter. <coughs> Four minutes remaining here in the quarter. Cespedes Cruz's runner is no good from the foul line. Martin pulls down the strong rebound. Pacheco running with it. And she will pull it back out. Did not see the number she liked and Mia pulled it right back out. Wisely there. 
Gets it over to Ramadan. Ramadan's shot is up. It's no good. The three from the wing. Pass down to Cespedes Cruz as she's out ahead of everybody. She couldn't finish. Salero gets the rebound pulled away, and Ramadan came away with it. Now Fairman Rodriguez as she goes in and loses the handle as Chavez Trejo stepped up. Violet Stick Gold will check in as B.J. Johnson also checks into the game for the Highlanders. Stick Gold, her first action of the night. Stick Gold, of course, three-sport athlete. She was a member of the GBL champion girls soccer team. You can check out their games on Somerville Ed TV's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Nice pass there. Kick out to Campos, her three-pointer, no good. Rebound pulled away by the Highlanders. 24 to nine, the Highlanders lead. Three minutes remaining in the half. So they work it again to the foul line. Matt Coleman out to Johnson. DJ from three, no good. Cespedes Cruz running the floor. She will look to go coast to coast and Mia Pacheco says, no, that will not occur. And Pacheco now out on the run and Salero has to foul her as she was making a beeline to the bucket. Mia very, very good controlling tempo of game, tremendous defense as well, great hands. Very, very active hands out there, Mia Pacheco. Salero picks up her third foul. Fourth team foul on the Red Devils. As Pacheco calls out the play. Sophia Good in, gets the screen. DJ from the corner will take it. No good, had that open. That will go out of bounds untouched after the shot. So it goes to the Red Devils. Highlanders missing those outside looks, need to keep taking them, they will eventually fall. Cespedes Cruz splits the defenders, give it over to Reyes. She can't hold on, DJ Johnson with a two on one. And DJ will take it herself, and she's called for the travel. DJ not happy with that call. Twenty-four nine, the Highlander lead. Under two minutes remaining in the half. Cespedes Cruz on the give and go. She will put it up from just outside the arc where she took it. Rebound is pulled down by Zayas, but stolen away. Stick Gold came away with it. Johnson gets it foul line to good. Sophia from the foul line kicks it back out. Ramadan with it. Ramadan gives it back out to Pacheco. There's Mia. Kicks it out to DJ. DJ left wing three, just a little strong there. Long rebound comes out. Outlet pass stolen away from Campos there. As Ramadan's jumper is no good. Stick gold with the rebound. Violet puts that one up, no good. Bound there fighting for it. Violet saves him from going out of bounds, gives it to DJ. Now they get it to Pacheco, left wing, three pointer. That one's no good. Out of bounds, Highlanders keep getting those open looks, keep missing those open looks. They need to keep taking those open looks. Ahead 24 to nine, nothing to lose. Taking those open looks, shoot them till you make them at this point. As a foul is going to be called, I think Ramadan got Cespedes Cruz with the bump that time. Number one on Ramadan, second one of the quarter for the Highlanders. Chelsea will inbound, near side underneath the basket. So they try to get it inside to Zayas, but knocked away. It's Pacheco, 35 seconds remaining, brings it up. DJ from the left wing gets it down to Stickgold. Violet, nice turn by Violet Stickgold as she finishes from the left block.
Shot clock is off. Chelsea can hold for the final shot. They trail 26 to nine. 10 seconds remaining in the half. Three pointer put up by Cespedes Cruz, no good. Sophia Good comes away with it. Four seconds left on the shot, on the clock I should say. Pacheco from mid court, just off the front of the rim by Mia. And that will do it for the first half as the Highlanders lead the Red Devils of Chelsea here at Broon Field House by the score of 26 to nine. You are watching Somerville Highlander girls basketball on Somerville NTV. We are back here at Broon Field House on Somerville Ed TV as we have second half action between the Highlanders and the Red Devils of Chelsea. Highlanders leading 26 to nine as we move to the second half. It has been the Ava Martin show for the Highlanders and she has 15 points in the first half. Second leading score is DJ Johnson with six. Third leading score in the game is Malise Salero for Chelsea as she has five points. Other Highlanders with points. Fatima Aguilar with two. Viola Stickold with two. And Lila Mack Coleman with one point. Chelsea in the red. Highlanders in the home whites. There's Salero with the ball as Aguilar gets the hand in there. Stutter step there by Chavez Trejo. Her three-pointer from the corner, no good. Here's Pacheco leading the break, gets it down to Anais Lopez. Her shot is up, no good. Couldn't quite finish there. Good look by Pacheco. Been very impressed with Mia's running of the floor and the offense. Good defense there as DJ steals it away from Trejo. Gets it forward. Aguilar's shot is up, no good. DJ gets the rebound, tries to get that one up, no good. Taps it to herself. Puts that one up, and DJ finishes it. Third time's the charm for DJ. 28 to nine is the high on their lead. Chavez Trejo with it. Anais Lopez shows the quick hands. She knifed in there and stole it away, gave it up to DJ. DJ goes in against Solero, and she puts it home. DJ has four to open out the second half. 30 to nine is the Highlander lead. And Pacheco now with the steal. Feeds that one forward looking for Aguilar. A little far as Aguilar tries to get it back to DJ. A little tough there with the bounce. So Aguilar was able to save it though. Lopez with a three-pointer, no good by Anais. Rebound came out and the push-off is going to be called against Pacheco. And Cespedes Cruz was going down floor. That'll be a Mia's first, the Highlanders first here in the second half, in the third quarter, I should say. Timeout on the floor, Highlanders leading by 21, 30 to nine as the Highlanders have come out quickly here in the second half, pushing the tempo. I want to point out, I've been very, very impressed so far with Mia Pacheco running that break, running the tempo. She's done a great job pulling out of the tempo whenever needed, as well as pressing that tempo whenever needed. Um, she's also made some great passes, great outlet passes as well. And of course, her defense has been tremendous. Uh, she's not showing up yet on the scorebook. Uh, she does not have any points this evening, but definitely showing up in other ways in the game. Of course, DJ Johnson looking great here, opening out the beginning of the second half with two buckets for four points. Those are the points in this, this half so far. The Highlanders look very nice out there, and I love how they're breaking down the zone, very technically doing it. Uh, great distribution from the foul line that we've seen, not only from Ava Martin, but also from Lila Mack Coleman, as well as from Sophia Good. They have all three been very effective presenting themselves to receive passes at the foul line and then breaking down the zone, finding both Violet Stickgold as well as Ava Martin down in the low block, as well as DJ Johnson down in the low block also. So a great job of coaching there by Ricardo Bonome as they've been able to affect the perfect manner of breaking down that 2-3 zone. It'll be Chelsea's ball coming out of the timeout. Highlander staying in that man-to-man. -man. Cespedes Cruz 
Defended by Pacheco. Pacheco's caused many turnovers. Driven in by Trejo. Cespedes Cruz now, three-pointer is up, it's no good. Long rebound comes out. Shot put up by Trejo. Rebound pulled away by the Highlanders. It's Pacheco once again. Controlling things on the floor for the Highlanders. Aguilar now running the point. Gets it back to Pacheco. 2-3 zone, Aguilar. It's a zone swings to her. She'll go up for the runner. Nice thought there by Fatima. Couldn't quite finish with the right-handed runner. Now, Cespedes Cruz drives in. There's Mia Pacheco with that defense I've talked about. Block for Pacheco. Thinking coast to coast, she'll go up. And she gets that one partially blocked by Chavez Trejo. Highlander ball inbounding underneath their basket. DJ gets it in, Fairman Rodriguez over to Aguilar. DJ now from the corner will take it, and that will hit nothing but the bottom of the net. DJ Johnson warmed up here for the second half. Seven points for DJ in the half. Only points in the half have come for Miss Johnson. As Solero took about four or five steps there, travel is the call. More tough defense there by the Highlanders, causing another turnover. So get it to DJ. Nice bounce pass down low. Ava Martin with the finish. Beautiful teamwork there. As the pass went to DJ, perfect bounce pass down low to Ava. Highlanders lead 35 to nine. Give and go to Chavez Trey, or I should say, Cespedes Cruz. Her runner is too strong in the lane. Highlanders come away with the rebound. Midway through the third quarter here, Highlanders have scored nine. They outscored the Red Devils nine to nothing so far. That's going to be over and back. As Solero knocked that ball back across the backcourt, so the backcourt violation as Pacheco grabbed it. Fairman Rodriguez heading out. Ramadan checks into the game for the Highlanders. As that one's partially blocked by Martin, Pacheco down on the floor, able to get it. Good hustle play there by Mia. Pass forward by Aguilar, a little too far forward for Ramadan. As Trejo gives it off to Solero, her shot no good. Trejo runs down the rebound, and she puts up the baseline jumper, and that is good. Second bucket of the game for Trejo. First points of the second half for the Red Devils. 35-11 is the Highlander lead. It's Ramadan with it. Pick and roll. Looking down low for Ava Martin. Nicely run pick and roll there. As Ramadan patiently waited for the roll of Martin to the bucket. And of course, Ava with the finish. And she's got four here in the second half, 19 total for the game. The Highlanders lead 37 to 11. Talk very quickly about what we have for you here on Somerville Ed TV because it is winter and that means it's winter concert season. And we will have winter concerts throughout, holiday concerts throughout the holiday season and the winter season. In addition, of course, to our sports coverage here on Somerville Ed TV, we will have hockey coverage, we will have girls basketball coverage, and of course, we will have boys basketball coverage as well. Remember, of course, the hockey team went to the playoffs last year, got a win in the playoffs, as a matter of fact, last year. So look forward to what all three of those teams can do here in the winter sports that we will be covering here on Somerville Ed TV. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, wake the neighbors, call the kids, and let them know that we've got something going on here at Somerville Ed TV. And we need more subscribers. We only are just barely under 2,000 subscribers. So make sure you mash that subscribe button and you'll get me to shut up about 2,000 subscribers then. That'll be great too. 322 remains here in the third quarter. Highlanders leading 37 to 11. Highlanders dropping back into a zone, it looks like now, as they've gone to a 2-3 zone. As Solero trying to get around the outside, 
And Ramadan's going to get whistled for the bump. That will be Aliyah's second foul, first team foul on the Highlanders here in the second, or second, I should say, team foul for the Highlanders here in the second half. Byla Mac Coleman checking back into the game. As Salero gets smothered by DJ Johnson. She outlets to Aguilar. Aguilar goes up and she will finish. Nice play there, DJ with the block and the outlet to Aguilar. Fatima with the finish. As Trejo puts that one up, she's hot right now. She's hit two here in the third quarter. She's got six in the game. Aguilar almost gets it stolen away by Salero. Gets it over to Pacheco. Foul line now to Lila Mack Coleman. Beautiful breakdown of the zone once again as Mack Coleman finds the cutting DJ Johnson on the right block and DJ finishes it. Look it up in the textbook, folks. That's how you break down the 2-3 zone. As Salero from the corner, her three-pointer is up. It's no good. Pacheco with the rebound. She will look forward looking for DJ. Nice pass by Pacheco. Shot by DJ, no good. Martin follows. Martin follows herself. And then that long rebound goes out to Pacheco. The Highlanders keep possession. Now Martin by herself. A little five foot jumper there. She was surprised nobody was defending her. Adjusted nicely. You see the touch that Ava Martin has around the basket. 43-13 the Highlander lead. Trejo with it, defended by Martin out on the perimeter. Trejo puts it up, the runner is no good. Lila Mack Coleman caused her to change that shot. Salero now smothered there by Aguilar. Aguilar out forward to DJ. DJ saves that back, looking for Pacheco. A little blind save there, but DJ comes up with it. Highlanders just out hustling the Red Devils right now. Foul line to Coleman. Out to DJ, nice outlet. The three-pointer is up, no good, wide open. Can't argue with that look, but Ava Martin gets the weak side rebound, shows the power as she finishes, and she'll go to the line for the and one. <laughs> Foul goes against Barrera. That is her first. Team's first here in the second half. As Martin is at the line for the and one. Fouls no good by Martin. Minute remaining here in the third quarter. Highlanders leading 45 to 13. Salero got the pocket picked at the foul line. DJ with Fairman Rodriguez. The bounce pass, Fairman Rodriguez unable to control. As DJ with a nice bounce pass there. Fairman Rodriguez just couldn't quite get the control on it to get it up there. Highlanders have run the break very effectively today against Chelsea. They've been also very effective breaking down the zone, as I have been quite effusive about. Foul line pass back out to Solero. Solero puts up the runner and she's going to get fouled. As that's going to be called on DJ, that will be her second, team's third here in the third quarter. Salero will be at the line shooting two. She has five points tonight. These are her first free throws. First one is good. Salero, of course, has shown that shooter's touch. She hit a three to open up the game for Chelsea, giving them their only lead of the game, three to one. And she makes them both, 45-15, the Highlander lead. A little motion out at the top of the key for the Highlanders. Aguilar gets it down to Matt Coleman. On the right block, she's double teamed, kicks it back out to Fatima. Fatima with the drive, baseline. Nice shot there by Fatima Aguilar. On the runner. 15 seconds remaining, shot clock is off here as we near the end of the third quarter. 
Trejo puts up the shot. She's been hot. This one rims out. Good. Pulls away the rebound. Gives it to Aguilar. DJ from midcourt puts it up. And that is no good. Highlanders lead 47 to 15 after three quarters of play. The Highlanders have been very, very efficient in terms of their offense, breaking down the zone very, very effectively and running the fast break. Mia Pacheco doing a great job running that fast break. So we break down the scoring from that quarter. Ava Martin had eight points in the quarter, four points for Fatima Aguilar, and nine points for DJ Johnson as she dropped a three home. Overall leading scorer thus far in the game is e Ava Martin. And she has 23 points. 15 points for DJ Johnson in the game. Six points for Fatima Aguilar in the game. Looking over at Chelsea. Salero is their leading scorer with seven points. Six points for Chavez Trejo as she put four points in in that third quarter. And Cespedes Cruz with two points. Highlanders have been very effective offensively. It's good to see DJ getting untracked. She struggled from the field against Whittier. So good to see her hitting some shots out there, getting some nice finishes. So we are underway here in the fourth quarter. Highlanders with a commanding 47 to 15 lead. Baseline, Sophia Good kicks it out. Fairman Rodriguez gives it to DJ over in the corner. Nice bounce pass into Sophia Good. Tries the look from the right block, no good. Rebound pulled down by Zayas. Gives it off, Cespedes Cruz with it. She'll put up the three, front rim, no good. Fairman Rodriguez with the rebound. So Aguilar. Gives it to DJ. DJ looking down low. Lila Mack Coleman. Coleman puts that one up and in. Keep talking about Lila putting the ball on the floor. Don't know if it was necessary that time either, but it did work out. Nice touch around the basket again by number 33. As a three pointer put up by Cespedes Cruz, no good. Campos tried to chase it down, didn't get there in time, out of bounds, Highlander ball. As Jamili Vargas will check in for the Highlanders, number 23 for Aguilar. Vargas getting her first playing time of the night. As Fairman Rodriguez gets the screen from Matt Coleman. Out to Vargas, Vargas is three, no good. Matt Coleman pulls down the rebound, puts that one up. No good, Sophia good, tries it. Neck gets blocked, knocked out of bounds, or I should say, knocked down for a tie ball. Alternating possession will go to the Highlanders as Fairman Rodriguez will inbounds. DJ gets it to good. Good, back over to Fairman Rodriguez. Her three pointer is up, no good. Weak side rebound by Matt Coleman. As cool as a cucumber, kisses it off the glass, puts it home, 51-15, Highlander lead. I really like Matt Coleman's game around the bucket. If we can just keep her from putting it on the floor down there. As the attempted pass there, tied up, alternating possession will stick with Chelsea. As DJ down on the floor along with Barrera, DJ done for the evening more than likely. Six minutes remaining in the game. And head coach Ricardo Bonham clearing his bench a bit. Checking into the game is Stephanie Benitez, number 14, as well as Violet Stickgold. Turnover goes to the Highlanders. Good screen there by Good. Stickgold has it, gives it over to Vargas. Vargas drives, her runner is up. Kisses it off the glass, but couldn't get it to go home. Now Cespedes Cruz. 
She'll drive in against Fairman Rodriguez and she will draw the foul. It's Fairman Rodriguez will get called for that one. That's the first on Giuliani. First team foul for the Highlanders here in the fourth quarter as well. And Cespedes Cruz puts home the first free throw. Second one, no good for Cespedes Cruz. The stick goal gets the rebound. Mentioned Violet, a member of that GBL champion girls soccer team, also a member of the lacrosse team in the spring. She spins her winners playing basketball. I, I you know, she, I, I guess she goes to class as well and does really well doing that. I know that, but she has so much free time she's able to fill it with basketball, soccer, as well as lacrosse. Just a tremendous three-sport athlete. It's been great covering her for the amount of time I've had the, the chance to. Cespedes Cruz puts this one up from way downtown. Bang! And she hits that three, 51-19, the Highlander lead. Five minutes remaining in the game. Fairman Rodriguez running the point now. She gets it over to Benitez. Benitez gets it inside to good. Sophia will put that one up. No good for Sophia. Rebound pulled down by Zayas. The outlet comes out. Cespedes Cruz with it. Tries to feed it down to Solero. Fairman Rodriguez had it for a moment. Cespedes Cruz's shot, though, as she ended up getting it, no good, rims out. Fairman Rodriguez drives into the paint, goes up for the shot, no good. And Stickgold's going to get called for the foul, chasing down that rebound. Spachico will check back into the game for the Highlanders along with Maram Ramadan. Maryam Ramadan, number 20. Vargas, Benitez, and Stickgold, your other Highlanders on the floor. And Ramadan right into the middle of the action as she steals the ball away, goes coast to coast looking for it. The Cespedes Cruz able to stop her. Now Solero goes in against Stickgold, and Vi's gonna get called for that one, I think. Yep. As Violet picks up her second foul. Fourth team foul against the Highlanders here in the fourth quarter. Four minutes left in the game. And Solero's first, first free throw, no good. It's her first free throw miss. She was two for two from the line before that shot. As Seedow checks into the game. Number 31 for Chelsea. That one rolls out for Solero. Highlanders get the rebound. Pacheco with it. Gives it over to Vargas. Vargas right wing three. And gotta get, gotta get the four-point bonus or something for theirs. Oh, Coach Bonhomme. Flashing athleticism. Flashing. The athleticism, I said. Well done there. So Highlanders inbounds. He's coached very well and flashed his athleticism today as well as Vargas passes it over here near side to Stick Gold, gets a foul line Benitez. Her shot is up, and it's good for Stephanie Benitez. Fifty-three, nineteen, Highlander lead. As Solero into the plate, she's going to be fouled by Ramadan. That'll be Ramadan's first 15 foul on the Highlanders. So the Red Devils into the bonus here in the fourth quarter once again. Five fouls get you into the bonus per quarter. And then once you're in the bonus, all bonus free throws are two shots. So Solero at the line for two, she makes the first. Three for five from the line so far is Solero. Second one, no good. Long rebound pulled away by Benitez. She will give it off to Vi, and Vi gives it off. 
to Ramadan as Aliyah Ramadan in the game now. Vargas with the three. No good from the right wing. Benitez gets the rebound, gives it out to Ramadan. Back to Vargas. Vargas with the three. No good. Benitez once again chases down the rebound. Another good rebound, keeping that offensive possession alive. But the pass is a bit errant. Stolen away by Trejo. Now Cespedes Cruz driving in. Her runner is no good. Vargas gets the rebound, gives it off the stick goal. Under three minutes remaining in the game. As Ramadan has it. Gets the screen from Benitez and the travel's going to be called on Aliyah Ramadan. Highlanders leading by 33, 53 to 20. Trejo, foot on the line. So that is a two. Trejo, a very nice shooter. She's gotten off the hook here, here in the second half, off the chain, I should say a bit, as she's made three shots here in the second half. Nice pure look there. But had the foot on the line, so that was a two. 53 to 22, timeout on the floor. Highlander is doing a good job against Chelsea, very good. But then again, this is the team that they beat twice last year. So not surprising that they are defeating them right now. The breadth of how well they've executed, or the breadth of their lead and how well they've executed. Very happy with those. They've broken down the zone in a textbook fashion. Shown their athleticism in the full court as well. Really good leadership out on the floor by Mia Pacheco as she has held on to the, the tempo of the game, kept control of the tempo of the game, pushed that tempo when necessary and pulled it back when it was needed as well. And then Ava Martin and DJ Johnson have been excellent offensively finishing for the Highlanders. So a very nice offensive game for the Highlanders. Defensively, they've done an excellent job as well. As Pacheco has been a star on that side of the field, multiple steals causing multiple turnovers as well by Cespedes Cruz. As Ramadan goes up for the runner, runner I should say. No good, but gets her own rebound. She gives it off Benitez off of her foot, but Vargas ends up with it. Now, Aliyah Ramadan, and she gets called for the double dribble. Two oh five remaining in the game. Highlanders leading by 31, 53 to 22. Cespedes Cruz behind the back, pulls up the dribble, looking to Trejo. Or I strike that, I should say, looking to Campos. Now that's Trejo with the ball right there. She's defended by Stickgold, looking for some help. Violet gets the hand in, knocks it away, but not completely away. Solero loses the grip though, and Violet gets the steal. Ramadan passes it forward, looking for Miriam Ramadan, but over her head. Now Trejo gets it down to Cespedes Cruz. She'll put up the three from the right wing, no good. Trejo looking to chase that one down, or strike that. Zayas looking to chase that one down. Out of bounds, off of Zayas. Minute 24 remaining in the game. Highlanders commanding 31 point lead. Looking to equal their record at one and one. Vargas has it defended by Cespedes Cruz. Gives it off to Miriam Ramadan. Ramadan, little shake, little bake. Little pass attempt there, but stolen away by Solera. Out ahead, Cespedes Cruz. <clears throat> Benitez in behind her is going to force her to make it from the line. As a Stephanie picks up her first. Team sixth. Cespedes Cruz at the line. She's one for two. Make that two for three. Allen rolls out. Zayas came away with that rebound. Tie ball, tied up ball though. Zayas ripped it away at the last bit. 
Alternating possession stays with Chelsea. To get it down, Zayas. Multiple hops there, travel is the call. She was trying to get a better angle. Can't do it that way. So get it down to Vargas. 50 seconds remaining in the game. Vargas down to Stickgold. Vi has a basket already tonight. And she will get to go to the line. And Zayas called for the foul. Violet at the line, shooting two. 45.5 seconds remaining in the game. First shot by Violet. She gets that shooter's roll. Second shot by Violet. No good. And a jump ball, alternating possession will go to the Highlanders. Under 30 seconds remaining. Ramadan gives it over to Ramadan as Miriam, the bounce pass down to Violet. Back to Merriam. Merriam's look from the left wing. Hits nothing but the bottom of the net. And Merriam Ramadan gets into the scoring book. Five seconds remaining as the Highlander bench counts it down. Out of bounds. 1.3 seconds on the clock as the Highlanders are going to come away with the win. That will do it. As Vargas' shot was after the buzzer, Highlanders come away with the win, 56 to 23 over the Red Devils of Chelsea. As we look at the leading scorers, Ava Martin led all scorers with 23 points. DJ Johnson had 15, six points for Fatima Aguilar, five points for Lila Mack Coleman. And then as you look around the Highlanders lineup as well, Violet Stickgold, three points. Miriam Ramadan with two off that shot at the end. As Stephanie Benitez as well with two points for the Highlanders. Mia Pacheco gets the shout out, no points in the scorebook. Tons of steals as well as turnovers caused. Also a great job maintaining the correct tempo for the Highlanders as she pushed that tempo and pulled it up whenever it was necessary. A really nice job by the Highlanders. Textbook job breaking down the zone that Chelsea presented. It's going to be interesting to see what these young ladies can do as they move through the rest of the season. They will face off against Malden at Malden later on this week. That should be a good game to get a good barometer of where these ladies are. But right now they are one and one on this young season and one and oh in the GBL. That's going to do it for us tonight as the Highlanders come away with the victory over the Red Devils by the score of 56 to 23. Thank you very much for watching at home. Thank you very much, Matt Frondudo on camera. Thank you very much, Joe Constantine on camera and production. And I am Todd Harmon. You have been watching Somerville Highlander girls basketball on Somerville Ed TV.